absolutely. I had a great time. Great time. Welcome back to 726. Uh, we have with us, uh, no stranger to this uh, studio, is Ginger Milan, and she's with the Boone County Library. And what is Hi, going Ginger. on, Ginger? Oh, we have tons of things going on. Um, actually, I want to mention something first before okay. I forget. Next week, we are starting a new story time, and this is for school-age children between the ages of 6 and 8. And our regular story time for preschool children is every Tuesday and Wednesday at 10. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. But the school age will be at 4 o'clock every Thursday. And so uh, we want to encourage all those little kiddos who are used to coming to story time to mm -hmm. come back come now back. that they're yeah. in school. Uh -huh. And then we have, uh, we have an already established program for kids between the ages of 9 and 17. And that is Sandy Williams' uh, teen tween mm -hmm. time. Mm -hmm. So. Cool. But the main thing I want to talk about is a very exciting project that we have going on. Last April, we showed a documentary at the library called Trash. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it was narrated, it is narrated by Jeremy Irons, who uh, you probably remember awesome him voice. from. Yes, yes. And it really just kind of makes us aware of what happens to our trash once we, we set it out on the curb. and. Um, Americans, on average, produce about five pounds of waste on a daily basis. And wow. Wow. most wow. of that's going into a landfill. And as we all know, landfills are very expensive. Mm -hmm. And uh, lots of things that go into a landfill can actually be recycled. Mm -hmm. And um, there are lots of American companies who are who are making money by selling recyclable materials. So anyway, um, our audience, um, they love the, the film. And Ronnie Bell, the former publisher of the Harrison Daily Times, came by the library to see if we would be interested in showing it again at the Lyric. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so that, that's kind of how it took off. And Ronnie's no longer there, but Jason Overman with the Times is on board. and. Uh, since then, we've picked up several other sponsors uh, besides the library and the Harrison Daily Times. We have Inland Services. Mm -hmm. uh, the Townhouse Cafe is going to be open the evening that we have this and participate. The Ozarks Art Council and Via Recyclables, which is owned by um, Melinda Caldwell, mm -hmm. who right. lives here in Harrison. And she had planned to serve as our moderator, but on the same day that we're having this, she's being honored in Missouri because her biggest client, Bass Pro Shop, received the recycler, best recycler in the state of Missouri. Oh, great. So she won't be there, but we have uh, Robert Hunter from the Arkansas Department of Environmental Quality coming to moderate. Then, uh, you know, all someone has to do is throw out an idea and we just take off with it. Uh, Melinda suggested a su sustainability fair, which I struggle saying it and struggle spelling it. But uh, we're going to have um, this fair on the same day, the two hours before the film. Uh, everything's going to be on the north side of the square. Uh, the uh, Central Arkansas Farmers and Artisans Market is going to set up on the north side oh, of the okay. square across from mm -hmm. the Lyric. Uh, and a lot of the people... Th they'll set up on, on the, the, the square. Uh, right, right. And it's, okay. it's an off night for them. They're normally there on Thursday and this is on a Tuesday. And a lot of the people who belong to the Farmers Market, um, they're either certified organic or they practice organic methods. They just don't have the certification. Mm -hmm. um, we have some other vendors coming. Uh, Lazy Tea Worm Farm from Gasville. <laughs> They're going to set up and uh, hopefully demonstrate how that works. They sell worms for fishing, mm -hmm. but they mainly make their money by selling the worm castings for gardens. And uh, okay. he's going to be giving away bags of that and he's donating some for for a uh, door prize. We also have Buffalo River Honey coming mm -hmm. and they are passionate about beekeeping oh, they are. and preserving our pristine environment because we get better honey that way mm -hmm. and, and of course the bees are happier. Uh, we have a couple of soap uh, 
manufacturers, I hate to say manufacturers, soap makers, makers yeah. who live here in Harrison, mm -hmm. Kim Soaps and uh, Hen and Rooster Soap Company. Uh, Serenity Soap just opened up on the square and they're not quite ready to venture out yet, but they're donating door prizes. Um, we just have a lot going on mm -hmm. that day. It's September the 9th. The S Sustainability Fair is from 4.30 to 6.30. And then uh, the film will be shown at 6.30 at the Lyric. Okay. And we'll have question and answer session afterwards. Inland Services is, has donated a $100 Visa gift card as a door prize. Mm -hmm. And a lot of the vendors are do donating mm -hmm. door prizes. So we're looking for a really good crowd to come and celebrate our, our area and celebrate our local farmers mm -hmm. and businesses and to learn more about why we need to recycle. And that film is free, by the way. It's Everything's free. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. If it's at the library, unless there are supplies involved, it's free. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, how's this, this new school year? Uh, how's, it, how's that changed a little uh, bit? You know, in August, after the summer reading program ends, the children's department, they spend some time cleaning out closets mm, and going mm. through materials, but they are back up with a bang now. And uh, of course the school age activities will start next week. Uh -huh. But uh, there, you know, we always have something going yeah. on. We had a big program last night with our meeting room was filled. It was about uh, the Compton Bird Survey. And uh, I had no idea how distinguished our speaker was. Uh, mm -hmm. It was presented by Buffalo National River Partners, but Joe Neal did a great program last night mm -hmm. so excellent. Oh, good. excellent and if you want more information you can go to the website the website boonecountylibrary.org mm -hmm. and there your newsletter is there the and the schedule there. and uh -huh. mm -hmm. all the stuff that you need to know about the library and things you didn't know about that's you'll right. probably find out right there that's true ginger thanks a lot for being here thank you thank for you. having and me we'll again have, we will have you back again for sure up next uh, we're going to talk with john's train and also skip Hendricks about the Vets for Warriors celebration and everything that's encompassed with that and we'll find out all about that in just a minute. Stay with us.